incidence of interstitial lung disease in general, and there are many interstitial lung diseases, has increased uh, very significantly, double, triple, even quadruple what we thought was before. Does the treatment has uh, improved as the, our recognition of these diseases? Oh, no, no. Unfortunately, uh, that's, uh, that's not the case. But it's not for lack of trying. The drug companies now are being very cooperative in the sense they are looking for uh, treatments for progressive fibrosis uh, in the lungs. Uh, depending on the cause and the stage of the disease, uh, because the diseases, regardless of what they are, whether it's drugs connected to college of vascular diseases, environmental, or the idiopathic, it probably goes through stages where it's, it's, um, there's an injury and then there is some, some inflammation, inflammation, and the inflammation part, if we could catch it then, trials of drugs right now which attack primarily mm -hmm. the progression of the fibrosis. So if, if, if a patient comes in and, and you make the diagnosis and he has some impairment in terms of his, his pulmonary function testing, what we hope is that we can stop the disease right there. So he may be impaired but he, hopefully you know instead of living two or three years with some of these diseases he can live 10 to 20 years. And I think, uh, and I think that's where we're going.